Hey guys, we are on VRM24.com and today we are going to assemble Xiaomi Pad 5. This is a tablet that doesn't have a card tray. So first of all, we need to heat the surface of the display to a temperature of about 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat. We highly recommend not to detach the display at home as there is a high probability of damaging it. So after heating the display, after about 10 minutes, we can proceed to detach the display. Carefully insert a thin plastic film into the gap between the display and the housing. This is a film maybe from a new display or a film from a stationary store. And carefully run it along the edge of the display to detach it. We always need to be careful not to run the tool deep inside because in some places there may be cables to the display or touch screen. And after about 10 minutes, we can try to open the display. Gently leave the display and see where the cable and connector are located and how the connector is fixed. So we have determined the location of the cable after that, we need to leave the display and unscrew one screw and disconnect the bracket. The bracket, by the way, is attached to the battery connector. We need to carefully peel off the head seam coating and detach the bracket, thus disconnecting the battery connector. And we disconnect the connector to the display, and then we can remove the display. As we can see, the touchscreen cable goes near the edge of the display. And then we unscrew two screws with a Phillips screwdriver 1.5mm or hash 3 One of the screws has a warranty sticker on it. And we can disconnect the interboard cable, bracket and connector. Disconnect the second battery connector using a non-metal tool. And we disconnect the connector of the interboard cable. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screws. In our case, on the right side. As we can see, the screws are different in color, size, they can be magnetic and non-magnetic. Therefore, we recommend to take pictures of the screws first and then place them on a special surface in a convenient order for memorizing in order not to make a mistake when reassembling. We unscrew the screws that hold the motherboard, cover and speakers. There is also a screw under one of the warranty stickers. We unscrew the screws and place them on a special surface so that nothing can be mixed up in the future. Also, try not to miss any of the screws. 
and we can detach the cover hiding the motherboard. We remove the cover and move on to detach the motherboard. Carefully leave the motherboard over the edge and see that nothing is in the way or interfering with us. We disconnect the front camera connector and we need to disconnect one more connector at the top and one connector at the bottom next to the main camera. Now we have nothing in the way of detaching the motherboard. And we can detach the main camera. Gently hold the camera, disconnect the connector and remove the main camera. And put the motherboard away. Then we can detach the front camera from the housing. We pry the camera by the bottom part under the cable and take it out. So we move on to detaching the loudspeakers. Hook the edge of the opposite side from the contact pad and leave the speaker. Surprisingly, the speaker's contact pad detaches much easier this way. And we move on to unscrewing the screws on the other side where we also recommend to place them on a special surface in order in which it is better to memorize them in order not to make mistake when reassembling. And we disconnect the connector and circuit board bracket. We disconnect the connector of the interboard cable and put the interboard cable aside. And we continue to unscrew the screws. The screws that hold the board with a charging port are also different in both color and size. So we gently pry up the edge and remove the board with a charging port. And microphone remains in the housing. Ok, we need to detach the speakers. Also, hook the loudspeaker on the side, the far side from the contact pad, and lift and detach the loudspeaker. Do the same for the other speaker. Only we need to slightly lift the contact pad by hooking it at the bottom of the cable side. And we move on to unscrewing the screws at the top. The screws hold the cover in place. We use the same 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. And we can hook the edge and detach the cover. Then we unscrew the screws at the bottom, same 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. The screws hold the long narrow board or subboard. And we can detach the cover that hides the port. There is a contact pad on the cover. Then we disconnect the connector and remove the interboard cable. And we can remove the circuit board. Carefully lift it and try to take it out. 
be careful that the printed circuit board is slightly glued to the housing on one side. Do not force it or try to bend the board to remove it. Well, this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Ok guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.